Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good, Scorpio. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what's coming towards you guys. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Scorpio sign, okay? We will pick up love, career, money, and general situationship message for you, Scorpio. I will upload your love message, your love reading in the main channel, okay? So for now, I need to check in with you. Um, there's a new moon happening in the next 24 hours. So I would like to check in with your energy and also pick up, you know, guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This reading for the day is... Uh, Sagittarius. <laughs> I just I just finished the Sagittarius and Sagittarius reading, sorry. So um so the the intuitive message that I'm channeling would still be valid for the month of June. If I pick up um a specific timeline outside of the month of June, I will let you know, okay? So this is for my Scorpio family. What can I get for the Scorpio sign? Please don't forget to click the bell and click subscribe, okay, Scorpio? This is an exclusive channel for you. Let's see what's coming towards you, Scorpio. What's the guided message for you, Scorpio? And by the way, Scorpio, we're moving. So the content from the other channel, the main channel, we're going to be moving it in here, okay? So for you not to, to, to watch it twice, we will put RE, okay? We will put RE in the um in the part of the you know the title so you don't watch it so i could get like i could get i could drive all of that you know scorpio videos in this exclusive channel and we'll put it on private so you might see it like it will pop and then it will go to private but we're reconciling all the videos in here um okay we're being audited Okay, so, alrighty, so that is some house announcement. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. Let's see what's coming towards you, Scorpio. Okay, what's the guided message for you? What can I get for the Scorpio sign? Seven of Cups. And the King of Swords. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to be getting one oracle card for you scorpio just to check in your overall energy and to look into how is life with you you've got the weaver love the lavender the weaver in here um oh look at that okay i've don't i've noticed that you've got something to look forward this is yourself right now okay it looks like you've got some burden in here you've got some new beginning in here scorpio um this is you. It looks like you're looking forward to new adventure, new life. Okay. But you've got something to look forward. If you look at that angel, the angel is giving you a lot of inspiration. And I'm hearing the word substance. Okay. So if you keep moving forward and you do not look back with this web, you know, it could be recently. It could be recently. Or the recent past events, Scorpio, it could be full of interconnecting people because this is a spider web. This looks like a network of, you know, I always find a spider web, it's a very confusing thread to look into or to navigate. So you could be going through or I would say, you could be dealing with multiple network. You could be having some drama with friends or family, maybe with work. But it feels very stable in terms of the money de department. In terms of money stability, it feels very stable. And if there is something unstable in here, you're walking away. You're carrying your bag. You're playing music, you know. The way you're handling this spiral of gossip, drama, power control, you're just playing the music and it relaxes you. In fact, you have already turned your back to the spider web in here. There's a specific person who's trying to bring you down, Scorpio. And it's good on you who, you know, it's good on you, Scorpio, to just walk away. It's not worth it. And I'm hearing the word, they have no substance, 
okay it's not worth fighting or dealing with them and the universe okay that the universe is really sprinkling a lot of the universe is like walk away from this spider web because the universe will melt that look at that okay the universe is going to like the more like it will cancel itself the more you ignore it the more it becomes noisy like if you give power to a gossip to a drama if you put energy to gossip drama it won't die so it will cancel itself the universe will pour a divine light to remove this and all you have to do Scorpio is to ignore and to play music and do a lot of therapeutic thing that makes you happy if it doesn't make you happy if it doesn't make you feel good don't engage and you have something to look forward I'm telling you right now you've got something to look forward this new moon in Gemini you be surprised because there's number eight in here it looks like infinity there's something that you will be looking forward to achieve to do look at that Trust the process, Scorpio. You are shifting from emotional turbulence to more peaceful, okay? So don't don't engage to people, person, situation that doesn't have substance. Like, don't engage yourself to small talk, you know? There's greater good, okay? There's greater good. There's something that you will look forward in here very soon. Okay, now... Let's pick up a specific message for you, Scorpio. Let's see what's coming towards you, Scorpio. Hmm. Again, the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is about the future. Hmm. And you've got the Four of Pentacles in here. And you've got the Justice card in here. And if you look at the Four of Pentacles, it's looking at the... It looks like a mountain. It looks like, Scorpio, you reach a point, you know. There's a triangle in here. There's a triangle. And you reach the peak you know, you didn't settle for less, Scorpio. Something tells me there was a make it or break it situation in here. You didn't settle for less. And you're really holding your ground in here. You have the justice card. I don't think you're being unfair. Whatever you did, there's a powerful decision that you're about to do or you've you have already you in the recent life events there was something powerful that you've decided and this is for the good of your future like four of pentacles you're going to stand by whatever you believe whatever you feel like good and fair for you no one can silence you i would say this reading is like nobody can make you thought nobody can shut you up like you've decided three of wands because this is the recent past the recent past and this is a very futuristic reading uh, sorry this is the recent past and the three of wands is all about the future so you're holding into a decision that no or it's possible that you're saying yes but this is your condition whatever you're asking for this person or situation it's fair but sometimes you're so deep scorpion that they don't they don't understand the whole background of where you're coming from I feel like you were misunderstood misunderstood in here. Yeah, five of wands conflict. There's a group of people or maybe one person that misunderstand, misunderstood you. There's a if you excuse me, if you look at the five of wands, the bird in here flew. But there's another bird flying back. So don't be scared. Don't be threatened. Okay, I'm telling you right now. There's something that... um, It could be a situation at home. It could be situation... could be situation... At home, at work. Could be a friend, relative. Don't be threatened. Okay? Don't be scared. Don't be threatened. I'm telling you right now. The big bird. This big mouth or... The main villain. Will come back to you. Okay? Whatever you did, it is for the benefit of your future. Stand by in your power. Stand by in your decision. Because there's a justice card in here. That something is going to be revealed. And at the end of the day, you're not 100%. I can really pick up that you're not perfect in the way you corresponded to them. You're not entirely perfect or 100% right. But you were definitely getting 
less of what you deserve. Okay? I'm not telling you, something tells me the recent past event is that your feelings, your point of view, whatever you're wanting or fighting for, it's not completely 100% managed properly by you, but you definitely have a valid point, okay? Because, like, most especially if this is about correspondence, okay? The way you said something or express it or represent it, it's not completely a good picture, okay? And they are also doing that. Like someone, someone in here weren't able to represent a good picture of why and why they want it or why they're saying no to you. Okay, so both of you, both sides, there was a misunderstanding in the representation of feelings, in the representation of information, and it went to a clash. But... I don't want you to back down because it's more of like just keep quiet lavender <laughs> something that you're fighting for like just keep quiet keep quiet watch and learn and see how things unfold okay that's very strong in here like just keep quiet watch learn and see how things will unfold there's a result in here there's something coming and the result is something fair for you fair for them okay yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. I don't know why I'm happy. But if you're dealing with law, if you're dealing with in-law, you're dealing with a situation where you're being mislead or you're being pushed aside. Stand by in your power. Keep quiet. Less talk. Less communication. You said whatever you, you, you needed to say. If they follow up, respond diplomatically. And stand in your power, stand in your ground. Because I'm kind of picking up with the Wheel of Fortune. You get your herd when it's quiet. Something like that. Like that. Okay, la, la. Sorry, L. <laughs> like quiet. Now you said it, you quiet. Now you, now you said or deliver something. Or you're about to deliver or said something. Now you keep quiet. You keep, you, you, you keep quiet. You keep silent. Because... It will, it will trigger some sort of respond, reply, but not soon. So just keep it quiet. Okay, keep it quiet. Things are in favor of you. And I don't know why I'm hearing the song. You know that song in TikTok, Jiggle, or in the in Instagram? My money gets jiggle, jiggle. It falls, something like that. That's the song, right? Like, it's a funny song. It's a chill song. So at the end of the day, you get the money or you get something. Okay, you get something in here. You win something. Just be quiet, okay? <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing that. But Scorpio, be quiet. No more talks now unless they follow up. And again, you say you say it diplomatically. Just be quiet. My money get jiggle jiggle. It, I don't know what's that song, but I'm hearing that. <laughs> Anywho, now let's go further, Scorpio, Okay. And um, let's pick up more into let's. These are the external energies that will connect with you. Oh, you've got a seven of swords. Okay, these are the people, person, a person, people, you know, situation that will connect with you in the next ten days, in the next, you know, up until the end of month of June. You got a seven of swords. Someone is confused. Okay, there is. There's a male and a female. They're connecting with you and they're confused on why they're doing this. Someone is someone is ready to like someone is ready to connect but emotionally confused on how they represent their feelings, okay? So be ready Scorpio because you have page of cups. So you're going to you're going to receive a message. And they want to resurface, they want to connect, they want to work with you, they want to collaborate with you, but they just don't know how to slide. Like they don't know how to say it. Like they, they know that they kind of need to say something, but it's difficult for them to deliver it. Okay. Ooh, lover's card. Ooh. 
it could be love 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 it could be love it could be something loving it could be something supportive you know it could be love scorpio we need to go over that oh my god scorpio so the thing is soon a message will come out of the blue and i feel like you're going to There's a part of you, Scorpio, that you're going to question this. You know, like, hmm, what is this for? Take your time. Take your time. Whoever this person or situation is, they need, they need some sort of understanding from you. Okay? I don't think... There's a seven of swords, seven of cups. Okay? If you base... I'm picking up that if you base... Because there's history in here, Seven of Swords. It means that there's some not so good things that you shared or they said or you said. Okay? He said, he said, she said. It's not very clear. I mean, it's not the healthiest relationship or connection or communication, Seven of Swords. But they're here. And their intention is logical. Okay? Whoever this person is. It could be a lover. It could be a relative. It could be a friend. I don't think it's professional, but their intention is good because it's to clear their name. It's to hear your side of the story, okay? Because they feel like they misunderstood you or there's something that they did that they haven't really, like there's a part of you that they kind of need to understand. So their intention is good, but it's, it's needing time and you're confused. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, like you're, you're confused about their message. They're confused too, okay? Someone is going to reach out, call you or text you or email you. But a message will come out of the blue. Give them time because they, be, they will be able to figure out what exactly they want from you, Scorpio. Because Seven of Cups, like it, it's pulling something in the core of, of, of their um, energy, an emperor card. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. Someone, something is going to come out of the blue. And you might find it confusing. Like you, you will find it confusing to deal with them in the beginning. But eventually, things will settle. And they will be able to present you an exciting idea. An exciting opportunity. An exciting beginning. An exciting offer but before the ace of wands is activated there's a series of going back and forth and clearing out the past and being very very patient scorpio you're patient at being asked in here king of swords this is something that this reading, it's something that if it's in your power, you want to make it fast and just, hey, you know, be straightforward and say it. But it's needing time from their end to build the momentum, the energy, and to articulate it. To articulate that and to put words into their feelings, okay? So take your time. Because as soon as they find the exact match of the feelings, their energy, and the exact words, when it all matches, you will have it. You will exactly hear their intention. Their intention is good, but there are some things that need to, like, you kind of need to tie loose ends. But the outcome is an ace of wands. So if patient, you know, some patient in here, like the lavender card, some things in life, Needs a lot of practice and patience. Patience is a virtue. There's something good about this person or situation. But you've got to wait for it. And let them really articulate their feelings. They've got feelings. They've got something to say. They've got something to follow up. They've got something to share. They've got something to wanting to find out from you. But it's in a... They're, they're articulating their energy and feelings in here. So be patient, Scorpio. Something good. Okay, something good is brewing. And this is your reading, guys. Thank you.
so much for connecting with me. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Scorpio, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. For private reading and further merchandise, everything is processed in the website. Thank you again, Scorpio. Thank you for the love notes. Thank you for the coffee. I'll see you soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye.